great because it's I'm no longer hitting out of a divot. So anyway, I wanted to since a bunch of emails went out in the last week and a half, I wanted to give a, a sort of a quick general idea of how you want to work with an email. So the, 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 I think the most important thing is you have to understand that your what you're trying to translate from your swing trainer to your swing is feel rather than a visual image. So when you swing an e-bell trainer, you can quickly see a visual of what a nice plane is where you're keeping your hands square to the back. Right? So that's a very basic thing. But so once you get that down, what you actually want to attend to is that's not what you want to sit and think about when you're swinging your club anymore. So you've got that feeling of swinging on a path, and now what you want to attend to is how does the timing of that feel? How, what kind of forces am I using? So I need to, because it's heavy, I need to heave it back a bit and to let it start back of its own accord so I don't want to forcefully turn it around. So I'm heaving it back, shifting a little bit, and then rotating all the way through. So that's the feeling of a good swing where you're using your entire body. So sit and swing your trainer, and you can do either, not bad, just start with some little partial shots. Keep your hands this way, in the fingers, just like a good grip, relatively relaxed with the arms. And let it hinge a little bit because that adds an element of timing. So it hinges up, releases, hinge, release. And then feel what it's like to let that release just move forward a little bit. So you're releasing here rather than at the ball. So most people have an impulse to want to release at the ball and that's not correct. You want to release basically through the ball. And so it's like the idea of swinging through and this makes it very easy to feel what that timing is. You can see that I shift first and then I rotate everything through. So get that feeling down. And again, I'm gonna say it, feeling, feeling, feeling. It's not, you're not recreating a picture in a swing. The picture is unimportant. What's, and obviously, you, all the great golfers who don't look picture perfect have figured out Swing is largely timing and how you apply force and when you apply force. So now the club is much lighter, but recreate that feeling. So feel the heaviness of the club, feel it release a little in front of the ball and you can brush the grass a little in front and just work on some partial swings. That wasn't good, so that may happen to you. Right now your release has, is a little better. You're releasing there. Club might be a little high, so okay. Nothing wrong with the move, just need to be a little lower. And that was perfect. So work on that and remember back and forth, but attend to the feeling and attend to the feeling in every single part of your swing. So, the mistake, I, the biggest mistake I see people make when they're trying to go from the trainer to a club is they'll get a lot of this part of it right, they'll feel that, but they're, they're, they're going to still want to pick up the club on their backswing because that's their habit. So you have to imagine the heaviness of the club and move it back and give yourself that feeling of how you would move a heavy object when you go back, that's going to allow you to shift forward, set the club, and then rotate through. So let's watch this again. And as you're working with your trainer, you just have to be, analyze all the different parts of your swing back and forth with the trainer, because it's quite easy to have a mechanically functional it's just a, you just develop a good swing mechanics with this. That's not very hard to do. You just need a little, just need to get a little sense of shifting 
And you get that by recreating a sense of, if I was going to throw this across the room, everybody understands how your body works to do that. That's the feeling you want. A lot of teachers used to do a throwing the club, and that's the purpose of that exercise is that's sort of an ideal, that kind of throwing motion is an ideal swing for a golf club. So again, feel what that's like and include your arms because that will give you a sense of heaviness. If your arms and your club are the unit you're swinging, now you've got something a little more heavy to work with. So feel the heaviness. Even just in your body, imagine you're still swinging your trainer. That's very good there. So just a nice heave, set it in there, rotate all the way through it and keep working on it. And then take videos of yourself if you have that opportunity and look at your trainer swing and your club swing and be very just self-analysis it's not meant to be you know critical it's just you're just looking at it. how is it working do those really look the same and then even more importantly do they feel the same like feel in your body okay you make this swing now you make a swing with your club does that really feel the same not uh, that seemed pretty much the same no to really dig in and say okay does that really feel the same because that's the really fundamental element. Are you using the same series of muscles and forces to make your swing as you are with your trainer? That's where the magic is, is when you learn to translate those forces into a golf club. That's where it really starts to work. So uh, another piece of news, I'm going to offer a single, anybody that's either bought an e-bill already or uh, wants to buy one in the near future, I'm going to offer a single video analysis. So send in, I sent out an email, but send in a picture of you swinging the e-bell and then swinging a club or a video, not a picture, but a video and send it to uh, stevenarts56 at gmail.com. You're gonna have to create a, a Google doc or whatever it's called because the file size is big and then just send me a link but you can find my email address um, on my website or in the, in the uh, email I just sent out. But if you want to have me look at how you're going, it's particularly valuable, I think, early on to feel like you're getting on the right track and then it's a very much self-directed kind of training. So if you're interested in that, uh, send me a link to those two things and I will provide feedback. If it's very popular, it may be very slow by sending them back. Maybe fast, who knows? But anyway, good luck um, and stay curious is what I would say with golf. Always stay it's just sort of like life. Be more curious than you are worried or concerned or driven or whatever. Because golf, no, we're never going to master it. We're always trying new things. We're learning new things. So just being curious about doing stuff and exploring things is the way to enjoy this sport.